Hey, sweet girl. How are we doing? Oh, really? You doing okay? Yeah. <laughs> You're talking, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes she makes these noises and she's not uh, in a bad mood. Sometimes uh, they sound like she's whining, but she's actually doing just fine right now. Those are just the sounds that her vocal cords know how to make. So those are the sounds that she makes. I wanted to talk about how I'm constantly thinking about what works best for Raylan and what works best for us as we take care of Raylan. Um, and one of those things has to do with her Kindles or things that she watches TV on. Um, and if you've been watching our channel for a while, you might remember that uh, the one thing that we were using that we really liked broke and we replaced it with the exact same thing because we liked it so much. Uh, well, that broke again. <laughs> the, the top of it keeps on breaking off. And we really like that thing because it's so handy. So we wanted something similar. Uh, so I bought a couple things. Uh, the first one was very similar to that one. And I wanted to just see if maybe a different brand would work better. So I ended up getting this thing here, uh, which is very similar to what we had before, except this thing is really rigid and it's really hard to bend. So it didn't work great for us because we do constantly... Uh, bend it just right so that Raylan can see it when she's in bed. So we ended up getting something a little bit different, which is working pretty well for us so far. We got this tablet holder floor stand. So instead of being attached to her bed, now it simply stands on the floor. And we can move it around really easily. We can move it to the other side of the bed. Uh, we can even move it to another room if we want to. And I don't know why we didn't just go with this the first time. <laughs> Because in a way, this is even more ideal because uh, we don't have to like attach it to our bed or unattach it to our bed. We can just literally pick it up and move it. <laughs> there is a slight downside to this one. It's a little wobbly. It wobbles just a little bit. Um, but once you put it in place, it doesn't go anywhere, obviously. I've read how it can be top heavy. So if your device is too heavy, uh, it could literally pull it over, <laughs> which you don't want that to happen. But this Kindle that she has is so light that that's not really an issue. Some people say that they actually put like rocks inside the rods here to weigh it down so that it doesn't do that because uh, these rods are actually empty. And so you can put uh, something in there to make it heavier if you want to. But this piece right here is actually pretty heavy. So that's really supposed to weigh everything down. But yeah, I think that um, tablet stand is actually pretty ideal for us. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but I think it'll last a while. The gooseneck is rigid, so it'll, it'll hold its position, but it's not so stiff that you can't adjust it as needed, which is pretty ideal. Uh, one more negative that I've found is that when sometimes when you move it, uh, you're actually unscrewing it slightly. Like, even if you tighten it as much as you can, for some reason, it just doesn't want to stay together. But once again, if you set it in place and don't move it, then it's, it's fine. Raylan, you want to watch a little TV? Here. I'll set this up for you so you can watch TV, okay? So yeah, that's just one of those little things that makes her life easier, makes our life easier. <laughs> and we're always on the lookout for those little kinds of things. Like how I put that button in last time. <laughs> that turns our suction machine on and off now. Um, and I secured it with uh, uh, double-sided tape. Some of that strong stuff, like it's black. It's not that scotch tape stuff. Hey, if you've got any little tips and tricks and hacks, uh, let me know in the comments. <laughs> We're always on the lookout for that kind of thing. But uh, God bless you guys. Always have hope. Take care.